Hi everybody. I just want to say thank you for all the kind words and comments in the last couple of videos. Uh, I was just sitting here this morning getting ready to label some of my hazelnut coffee liqueur. Uh, it's one of the things I use my vanilla for. And I'm sitting here looking at these beautiful bottles and I wanted, I'm getting ready to do um, a, a vacuum release on them and then a reseal. And I just wanted to share your this process with you. So this is going to be part two. All right, so we are in part two of my vanilla series. So this is a work in progress. I want to kind of show you my, my whole process of making vanilla. So these have only been here uh, 10 days. Today's the 30th, December 30th, 2020. And my last video was on the, um, on the 20th. Here I am. I've been shaking them. I had forgot about them a couple days. Um, a lot of life's go, life things happening. So I have forgotten about them. But the color on these, I really need to show you because it's only been 10 days. Uh, I had to put a little um, sunblock on there because it's so bright out right now and the sun coming in. But they're sitting here on the window shelf. I haven't shaken them today and I just wanted to show you um, the coloration. Look how dark those bottles look and that's in full sun I I just have a shade on part of it just so the camera doesn't get affected but these bottles look incredible after 10 days so I can't wait to test them in five more weeks and see how they're looking but let me show you what I'm gonna do next so I've already done this process once in the last 10 days. I try to do it every two to three days uh, right now. But what I do is I just take them off the shelf. I give them a little shake. They're still under a vacuum. And then I pull the lid off. I don't care if the seals broke or not because I've had my lid on them. But I just release it like that I don't even take the lid off and then I'll give them a shake so what happens is you just released all that pressure or the atmosphere pressure back into the jar which is expanding and contracting so they were expanded before with the vacuum on it now that you've released it they contracted what I like to do is give them a nice little shake now that they've contracted so they're pumping Give them a nice little shake and then I'll just go ahead and put a vacuum on them again. Like I said, you're always going to get a little bit of fluid from either lifting it up and breaking the seal, but I try to wipe them if there is. That's why I use the plastic lids. They don't stick. 
but I'll do that with every jar. Now, I can shake them again right now, but not necessary. But I'll do all those, put them right back in. Broke the seal, give him a nice little shake. So anyway, that's what I do every two to three days. And I do this um, that often for at least the first two weeks. So I'll do this for another week or so, uh, and then I'll taper off. I'll still do it once a week or maybe twice a week, but at least once a week for the next couple weeks, um, three weeks. Once I reach that six week mark, um, I'm going to do a test on the, I'll, I'll snip off a test like I said in the previous um, video and I'll, and I'll start looking at it. Uh, these beans were previously soaking um, prior to making the extract and getting them in these bottles. I don't think it made a huge difference. Well, actually it, it did make a little difference on how fast these are it sped it up a little bit because they were already soaked but yeah this is my process for next couple weeks so the next one you'll see me uh, I'll be doing the testing and then pulling the beans out because I'm gonna do a rough chop on them at the six week mark so anyway look how beautiful that is I, I I'm impressed every time I make vanilla because it, it really does act differently each time. It's usually about four to five days before I start seeing color. Since these ones were previously soaking, um, I, I got the color in a lot darker faster. But with this process here, yeah, uh, it really does help pulling out that extract. Uh, I know some people don't have a window facing the sun or anything like that. Uh, some questions were asked you don't have to if you've got a room I, I, they go back to the old recipes a cool dark place my method if I don't have this window my other house said I, I didn't have a window like this so I just left them on the counter the just the room temperature changing with these bottles does help the expansion and contraction if they're in a cupboard where the temperature doesn't change that much, uh, you're, you're just not going to get that expansion and contraction. My rooms fluctuate between 20 and 40 degrees uh, on any given day, depending on what the weather is outside, how we're cooling the house or how we're heating the house. Don't worry if you don't have a window, just the room fluctuation will actually help um, with the, the process and I wouldn't even worry about that too much this is still gonna work whatever you guys do is gonna work you don't have to be identical to what I'm doing um, for me this just takes it, this is a little bit faster uh, on getting the extract but patience 
everybody needs to have patience making this because um, each batch is different even my batches even I, I try to be consistent each one's different they act differently um, some may take a little bit longer uh, some a little quicker I haven't had any vanilla any quicker than three months uh, being finished and and extracted out so unless you have a mechanical process of squeezing out the beans and I, I just don't know how some of these big corporations or commercial guys do it on their end I just never really researched it but trying to get out that last little bit of flavor like I mentioned like 95% you get to that 10 or 5% that's left in the bean I don't know how you're gonna get that out um, because even if you did leave it for two or three years, I still don't think that percentage is going to come out of the bean unless you take, uh, I, I think about the old ringers, some sort of mechanical process that's a physical, either grinding or pressing, maybe a press would work, trying to get out that extra little bit, but you're always going to leave a little bit behind. You're not going to get 100% of the bean with, with anything. So anyway, this is my process. This is uh, part two, and we'll see you on the next one. If you guys have any comments, please leave them below. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. It does help us out, and uh, hit the little bell button. Thank you all, and I'll see you on the next video.